thank you for that uh, round of applause. Very well deserved. Just kidding. Uh, patience. To be able to accept or tolerate delays, problems, or sufferings without becoming anxious or annoyed. So to be patient is, I guess like I would say, is like you've got a problem or something, or something happens, or you get cut off on the road or whatever, and instead of getting angry about it, you know, just, man, you, no, you just relax and just let it happen, you know? Things happen, just gotta be patient, let it go through. The first verse that I wanna go to is James 1, 2 to 3. My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. We should be happy or rejoice to be uh, tempted, like it says, when we get uh, tempted. Because in temptation, and when we face temptation, we can learn, we, we can use that temptation to grow stronger in faith, and we can use that temptation to get, our pa get, strong, get better in patience. Like, What's an example? Uh, I'll use the road because, you know, everyone seems to get road rage these days. No, not everyone. Um, let's say someone does cut you off or you're on traffic and the red light's just there forever and you're sitting there and you look at your watch or whatever you use and you just sit there for a while and you're wondering, when is this light going to turn red? Well, that's a time to rejoice, you know? Like, you get a little upset and instead of, well, instead of getting upset, you're like, okay, I see, this is a time where I could be upset and whatever, but instead I'm gonna use it and I'm just gonna relax. And with every time you relax and every time you just let yourself relax and every time you let yourself, I guess, not get upset is another time where your patience grows stronger. Just like when you read more, you grow stronger. When you lift a barbell or curl a uh, dumbbell, you get stronger, it's like that. You know, like you, have, you go through something that would require patience and you end up being patient through that it'll strengthen your patience and it'll strengthen your connection with God because instead of just getting upset and listening to your earthly flesh, just letting your flesh do whatever it wants, you're actually choosing and strengthening yourself in God instead of just letting your flesh go wherever it wants. Second verse is, also talks about that. It's uh, Psalms 27 verse 14. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and the Lord, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, on, wait, I say, on the Lord. Like, to wait on the Lord, like, wait for God to do his calling, not just getting upset over the first thing that happens and get, letting your flesh take over and letting it do whatever it wants just because, you know, I'm in a hurry, you know, this stupid light or whatever. Instead of doing that, it's, let, wait, let the Lord take his place, you know? He has a calling and he has a plan and he's not gonna just, all greens every single time because if he does that then there's no strengthening I guess next verse would be Hebrews 10 verse 30, 36 for ye have need of patience that after ye have done the will of God he might receive the promise and this is similar to what Rennie was saying last time how we have to wait on the Lord. He has a purpose and he has a calling and he has a plan for each and every one of us. And if we sit there and we rush every single plan he has for us, it's not gonna go very well. I used this example uh, a while ago, I don't remember when, but it was like food, you know? Let's say God has a plan for you and it's like he's in the kitchen and he's making a delicious gourmet meal for you, you know, first, second, third, 15th courses, whatever, you know? He's making the appetizers and the desserts and you know, you're like, well, I'm hungry now kick the door down and go in and you know the food and it's all raw and half-baked and you get salmonella and diseases and whatever and you're, you go to God like what is this come on I was hurt I wasn't I was I, was got my, I ate my food you made food for me and it wasn't ready and God's gonna be like patience should have waited you know and the next verse I have is Galatians 9 6 verse 9 not 9 verse 6 that's backwards And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in, for in due season we shall reap what if we faint not. Like this verse talks about um, pretty much, well not pretty much the same thing, but similar things, that if we wait on the Lord and let his plan carry out instead of 
just doing whatever we want and taking whatever we want whenever we want. It's, it's like, let's say you do something and you sow something. You sow good seeds. You put in the seed in the grass. You work hard to get it in there and you make sure it's all nice and you water it every day. And then all of a sudden you're like, well, I'm in a hurry and you just pluck it out and eat it. It's not going to taste very good. It doesn't matter what it is. Like, in order to reap what we sow, if we sow good seeds, we have to wait on them, you know? We can't just instantly just go grab something because it doesn't always mean that it's right away there because sometimes we sow good seeds and it might be like five years later and we want now, you know, five years is a lot longer than five seconds. Uh, the next topic is patience is needed in everyday life. It is needed in a biblical way as well. We need it in our walk with God and we need it in our Christian walk. That is very true and that is very important. But we also need it in our everyday life, not well, along with our Christian walk. Like, I don't know, let's say you're driving somewhere. You've got to be patient to get there. You can't just be there, you know. You have to patiently wait for it to get there. And the microwave, as short as that is, you know, you've got to wait those 30, 50, one minute, whatever it is. You've got to wait for that time. So patience is not only just, well, it's, also, it's both Christian and just something everyone does anyway, you know? Like, oh, what's another example? Yeah, no, I'm out of examples. The microwave was the best one. No, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, just patience. It's also required for our walk with God, as I was reading these verses. It's important, and without patience, most of the other stuff, it won't even happen, you know? Like, you go, you go pray to God, you get, he, you're like, I, I want an answer, you go read the Bible, and you do all the other things, but if you're not waiting, you I mean, you're not going to get your answer, because you're not going to wait for the answer, you're not going to, you can't just pray and wait for an answer, and then, oh, not there, well, I'm going to go do my own thing, you know, it's not going to work very well that way. We have to be patient, and we have to let the Lord do as He pleases, not as, yeah. We have to let Him do what He wants, and let His plan carry out. We can't just be impatient and let our plan carry out because we don't know better, you know. We know as well as we know, and God knows way better. So if we always just be impatient and let his plan go out, it's not always going to work as good as we hoped it would. And if we let his plan carry out, it's going to work a lot better. And one way I found to increase my patience, well, with certain things, is like, same with, let's say, someone cuts you off on the road. That's a very... Thing, a common thing that happens apparently. Uh, instead of immediately getting upset, you could understand and realize that maybe that person has somewhere to go, you know? Maybe they're in an emergency because their mom's in the hospital or they got a plane to catch or something, you know? Instead of immediately assuming, well, this is uncomfortable for me, instead of being like, well, I had to slow down for this, you can, it's like, well, they also had a place to be. So, you know? Why should I be mad at them for also having a reason to do something? And let's say when I'm in a hurry and I, you know, go earlier than I should have, and instead of being, well, I guess in that case, I'd be like, I understand my point of view because I'm the one who, you know, cut them off. But then I'd also want them to be patient with me, so I should also be patient with them if I want, to be pa if I want them to be patient with me, you know? And that was very short, but that's pretty much all I have.